Chility here, picking up from where we left off. And um, before we signed off, we actually had all the navigation done, uh, pretty much. We had the Joomla transaction. We had created our cards um, on this end. And so we're somewhere around this place and we're going down. As you would realize, buttons were included since the last time we made this video. And so maybe I'll put back, I'll put the buttons back in the cards section. So let's get started. But before we get started, let's go all the way up to the top. You'll notice that the navigation over here has some space on this end and has some space on this end. And in the earlier version, I talked about the container element that sets the width um, pretty much of an element in, in the middle of the page. So I'm going to go ahead and include container or include a navbar in the container element. So I'll say dev, this is just one way to do it. Um, you can actually put it div tags inside the nav element, but I prefer to do it this way. And I'll give this a class of container. And let's see what that does. Oops. Uh oh, what did I do wrong? Let's see, this is our navigation. Oh, yes, I didn't close this tab. There we go. Okay, so as you realize, our navigation now has white space on the left side and on the right side. It moved the navbar to the middle, it said the width. And I'm going to change the background so that the difference is not that obvious. And even in this example, they use a white background. So if I go in there, a bootstrap color element is being added to the navigation. So we have background faded right here. I'm going to remove that. And once I remove that, we should have a white background. Perfect. There we go. So now our menu is in the middle, our menu elements are in the middle, we have space and on the sides and we have a white background, perfect. Now let's move down a little bit and see. We have a lot of space and issues over here. We can do a whole lot better with the spacing. And instead of using the pardon um, classes in Bootstrap, I'm just gonna manually do that. So let's say Mainly we want to part the section with a card. So let's find that. Okay, so I think the cards start here. And already we've added margin top three rams. Um, that doesn't seem to be enough. So let me just add a custom class it's called card section. This say we basically need okay, just to make sure the pattern is even on all sides let's just say pattern five percent okay and that drops it down a little bit and it also part the bottom as well just in case we want to add something else okay perfect maybe that's a bit too much maybe four now let's go back and add these buttons right beneath the card so i'm going to go back to the card section of bootstrap and as i have it over here these are the button elements. Now, this is basically an anchor tag for text, but then the class BTN and BTN primary have been added to it. And so that's what makes it look like a button. So I'm going to copy that, go back in here and add that right after the paragraphs. So there we go. That's one, that's two, and that's three. Now let's change the text. It matters, it's the first one. Comes back. Matters with it. Nature solves and learn more. Good. And there we go. We have our buttons now added to the cart. Now you can probably see that all our buttons have some border radius added to it. Whereas these guys went for strict rectangular um, shut edge button. So I'm going to go ahead and remove all the, the style in these buttons, specifically the border radius. Go, in, go into styles and say BTN, which is the class that is applied to all buttons in Bootstrap. And say border radius, zero. Let's see how that affects this. There we go. Now you can see all the buttons are in this rectangular shape 
sharp edges. Okay, good. Now, what do we want to do next? Oh, one more thing. You probably realize that the section is gray and the inner section here is white. There's a very easy way to do that. So we can go ahead and set, let's say the body, the color for the body. I think I'm gonna actually put it here. And I'll call this general. I call this um, say background color. Just go with gray. Now we have this gray background. Hmm. Maybe not so much of a good idea. But the point is, if we had done this and we do something like container, and we give the container class a background, say white. You can see that the container element will now be white and then this section will be gray just as we have it over here. So it's a different shade of gray, but and then the section will be white, right? Makes sense? Okay, good. But then I don't think in modest, if you want to make that change, you can do that. But I'm just going to go ahead and backspace all this so that we maintain white throughout. There we go. Okay, so let's keep going. Now what we're trying to do, we're trying to create this section, right? So, and by the way, I went ahead and downloaded these images from the website uh, just to save time. And so the image we're looking for, there we go, where we work. I'm just gonna change that and call that drop down. Mainly because there's this, oops, what happened over there? That's it. Hmm, gonna delete this, I need that. Mainly because there's a drop down section over here, and I'll show you how to do that in Bootstrap. So let's go ahead and just create the section right beneath the cart. Let's do that. The cart in here, cart section. I'm trying to see where the container element ends. Scroll up. There we go. Okay. So this is container, let me just comment on that. Container ends. You want it to be inside the container. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna give this a class of drop down. Might need it later. Do paragraph. Maybe another paragraph. And let's go copy some text. So find a local chapter and discover nation near you. Let's put that in this paragraph. Good. Um, say nature near you. Put that here. Good. And let's see what we have. Nature near, near you and find a local chapter. Discover where you are. Brilliant. Now, Let's come over here, give it some background and some height. Copy and add height. Oops, what happened? It's, it's a height element. What did I do? There we go. 85, which just maybe 45 would be all right. I'm going to change this to drop down, which is the name of the background image. And there we go. We have our drop down image over here, and we have the text. And this image is actually part of the background image. If you look at it, I'll show you. Yep, so that's the image, and then you can see the drop, the, the compass um, image on it. So let's try and fix this one. I think we need to increase the height a little bit more. That's one component of it and let's prevent it from repeating itself. So say background repeat, no repeat. Good. And then we might want to bring this down a bit, some pattern. 
we can say pad and top, maybe 10%, if that makes sense. Maybe not, maybe 20. No, 15, whatever. And it looks like this image isn't really well balanced because we're not using the same dimensions as this. But you get the point. I'm gonna cut this down to 15. Good. So now to add this drop down over here, which drop also has something for that. So we're gonna to go to a components, since this is a component, we're gonna look for drop downs. There we go. How about drop down section over here? When you come to drop downs, it gives you nice examples of a drop down button that you can click and it gives you options. And in this case, drop down links that you can click on with options. So I am just going to copy this. This is where you have one that's separated. I think we should actually go with this. I am going to copy this. So copy and insert it into uh, HTML document. So it's going to be right underneath the paragraph. Good. Now let's do some formatting over here. There we go. Now let's see how that looks like. Then you have it over here and have the, the drop down. Now it's red. If you don't want the red color, obviously you can make um, you can make some edits to it. So let's see. This action that's an action text over here. We don't want the danger class, so I'm going to remove this and let's see what changes. Okay, it's gone. It's just a simple drop down right now. Um, so that's how you can actually add a drop down like this. And obviously you can write custom CSS to style it, give it a white background, uh, change the items in it um, if we wanted to. So this is called action. They call it choose a location. We can, uh, is that right? Okay, yeah, choose a location. We can do the same thing, choose a location. And we can make this whatever they have over here. So worldwide, Africa, Australia, whatever you want it to be. So we can say Africa, Australia, Germany, whatever it's, it's, it's meant to be. Uh, let's call this world. And there we have it, everything that you put in there with a division on the side. Very easy, you didn't have to write any code, just picked it from the bootstrap documentation and you're good to go, awesome. Now, I'm not gonna worry a lot about styling it and getting the font weight correct and all of that. Now, what we're gonna do next is try to do this section, this and that, and put a button over here, and put an image on this side and pretty much do the opposite on these ends. Maybe I just do this too, I wouldn't do the rest since it would be the same thing and we'll have a look at the footer element.